Former President Donald Trump returns to the campaign trail with the possibility of a new indictment looming. His close competitor for the Republican nomination, meantime, is shaking up his own campaign team. Doug Luzader has the latest on both major parties' presidential primary races. Donald Trump could eventually face some limits on what he can say about his most recent federal indictment, but for now, he is not holding back. They want to take away my freedom because I will never let them take away your freedom. That's what's happening here. Donald Trump in New Hampshire talking about his legal troubles, including a hearing this week when a federal judge could limit what he can say about his most recent indictment over his efforts to overturn the 2020 election and what appears to be another indictment on the way in the state of Georgia. But Trump remains far ahead of his closest challenger, Florida Governor Ron DeSantis, who just shook up his team again by replacing his campaign manager. Something is not working. Uh, if you look at the real clear politics average of national polls, DeSantis' support today is half of what it was in January. I mean, it, it, not catching on is not exactly saying, uh, give, doing justice to it. <laughs> President Biden faces his own election challenges, including a New York Times poll showing that half of Democrats would like to see someone else run, and some are pushing for a competitive primary. We have 12 Republicans as options for Republican primary voters. Right now, we only have three in the Democratic side. I believe in competition. We're the Democratic Party. Mm -hmm. Democracy means the freedom to make choices, and we don't have many of them. Still, there is little likelihood of a Democratic primary debate, and while the first Republican debate is two weeks from today, Trump says he isn't sure whether he'll participate. In Washington, Doug Luzetter, Fox News.